Hello. Up next, I've got the best unboxing that you will ever see. Yeah, that's right. I said it. This unboxing is going to be the big cheese. All of the guacamole. The creme de la creme. The entire enchilada. The piece de resistance. A lot of food metaphors. Really hope you're not hungry. Welcome back to Double A Comics. I am Aaron Baldwin, and this is a comic book unboxing, a CGC certified guarantee company unboxing, and it has been a long time. Months. Months. I mean, I think after six months, I essentially gave up and said, you know what? They'll come or they won't. Who knows? Legitimately, though, uh, this has been about an eighth month process. This is back when CGC still had value tier. <laughs> Remember those days? Uh, it was simpler times back then. It really was. It really, really was. But I digress. Uh, before we get started today, I just want to give a big shout out to Gary Kendra over at Impressive Comics. He cleans and presses all my books. He does a fantastic job. I'm really excited. So this is value tier, a lot of old books, okay? I'm talking Silver Age goodness. I've got Fantastic Four. I've got Detective Comics. I've got Batman. I've got Green Lantern. I mean, there's a lot of goodness in here. A lot of goodness. So you're definitely going to want to see this. I'm so excited. I don't even know what's going to happen yet. I may do the whole box. I may do half the box. Yeah, I'm doing the whole box. I can't, I can't wait. This is too much. So let's get started. Uh, yeah. So it's raining here. It may not be raining by the time you see this video, but when I got these in, it was raining, which is always a little nerve wracking. Box seems fine. Uh, and again, this has been a really long process, months in the making. So I'm gonna put this heavy box down and we're gonna go at it. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Uh, it feels good to be back. It feels really good. All right. Woo. It's been a long time. What do we got? Oh, yes, feels good. Uh, this is Batman 235. Uh, so this is a Ra's al Ghul and Talia appearance. Um, Denny O'Neill story. I think I thought this book was gonna be a little better. Here's front. Here's back. It's got a little twenty. Uh, it's a little off center. I. Definitely thought this was going to be above a NATO. Uh, it's got a little corner ding here. I don't know. To be honest, the the 60 to 80 range is such a confusing grade range for me. I can never make heads or tails of it. I've sent books in that I swear up and down. It's like, oh, that's a 70, and they come back a 92. And then I send books in, and I think. Oh, you know, that's a 9.4 and it's a 7.5. So, yeah, I'm not saying I thought this was a 9.4, but, uh, yeah, again, sweet book, though. Uh, that's amazing. I have no idea what a bunch of these books are doing, so I'm going to be looking some of these up after, but, wow, that's a sweet book. Uh, all right, Batman goodness. What else we got? Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. This is a Batman uh, 189, 6'5", uh, off-white to white pages. This is the first Silver Age appearance of Scarecrow, Jonathan Crane. Uh, really cool. It's got a date stamp on it, which I like. I have a 6'5 in the collection. This one has better centering, and I kind of like the date stamp, so I may keep this one and sell the other one. Uh, great cover. I actually bought it, and the guy said it was a 6065, so good on you, man. Dead on. Yeah, I love... Love me a good Batman book. If you're new to the channel, if you're looking for your fix of Batman books, you have come to the right place. Uh, that is that is how I get down. Let's hide the grade on this one. Let's make it exciting. Oh, yes. Batman 181. First appearance of Poison Ivy. Let's see it. All right. Four or five. Uh, I think that's good. I got some edge wear. You know, I knew this, especially the Silver Age stuff, you know, I'm not expecting super high grade. It's got a slight tear on the back. To be honest, it's been so long on these books, I don't really remember what I thought some of them were going to be. 
I remember this submission just has so many keys in it, though. That's awesome, though. Sweet Batman. So we got uh, two major of the rogues gallery so far. That's that's spectacular. Uh, wow. We're three books in, and I'm already I'm already the excitement. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, Batman 141, second appearance of Batgirl, the original Batgirl, and uh, first appearance of Clockmaster. Sheldon Moldoff cover, Bill Finger story, 5-5, uh, five, five, off-white pages. It's pretty solid. Um, this book definitely has some tanning to it. And honestly, this book... I don't know. These books were there so long at CGC. I'm I'm almost wondering if a couple of them might have been impacted by it. Um, there's a bunch of I can show you close up on the spine. There's almost a bunch of like tiny, tiny holes. Uh, so I definitely didn't think this was going to be super high grade, but just a great book, great cover. Uh, these second appearances kind of nice to go after, particularly in my opinion, when it comes to Batman. Uh, but even in a lot of Marvel books too, the second appearance can be a great route to go if the first appearance gets crazy. Oh yeah, another Silver Age villain. Here we go. Uh, Batman 234. Ooh, okay. 6-0, white pages. First appearance of Two-Face. Uh, Neil Adams cover, classic Neil Adams cover. Denny O'Neill uh, story, excuse me. So, this is 234. There's a World's Finest... I always forget the number of it. Some people claim that that World's Finest book is the first Silver Age appearance, but it's Batman disguised as Two-Face. It's not actually Two-Face. So, kind of an important distinction. This is the first Silver Age appearance, uh, and phenomenal cover, too, by the way. That's awesome. Uh, wow. Wow. We're on a Batman tear at the moment. A tear. All right. Okay. Oh, all right. This is one you don't see very often. This is Justice League of America 43. This is the first appearance of the Royal Flush Gang. Kind of a tough book to find in high grade, to be honest. I've looked for a while. This was the nicest copy I could find. Uh, I don't know. It's been so long. All right. 7-0. Off-white to white pages. It does have some staining on the back. The front cover presents fantastic, though, but there is some staining on the back. Great cover. Uh, I'm big into any DC rogues, uh, and the Royal Flush Gang, integral part of, uh, particularly of the Batman rogues gallery, uh, especially, like, Batman Beyond. Royal Flush Gang played a big part in that, so... This is kind of, I don't know, I hesitate to call anything a spec book or a sleeper book because so many of these videos now are about that, but this is a book that might be nice to pick up if you see a copy in the wild for a pretty decent price. This is not a crazy book to buy, so, and it's awesome. 10 cent, or excuse me, 12 cent uh, DC. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh... Definitely a book on the rise. Green Lantern, 87. First appearance of Jon Stewart. Second appearance of Guy Gardner. Uh, this is a Neil Adams cover. Denny O'Neill story. Uh, there's Dick Giordano art on the interiors as well. Let's see it. All right. 6-5. Cream to off-white pages. Uh, I think I have a 7-5 in the PC, but this is a book... I grabbed a couple of these... Probably a few years back, to be honest. Uh, big John Stewart guy. He's my favorite Lantern, personally. So, and with that HBO series a coming, this book has already seen major gains. Happy to have a copy. Just, it's a phenomenal book. Phenomenal. <sighs> yes! All right. Second appearance of Batmite. Uh, this is Detective Comics 276. Great looking cover, just classic ten cent tech Sheldon Moldoff cover. Let's see the grade. Ooh, okay, five zero. I probably thought it was gonna do a little better. I've had a few of these. I've got a little chip missing on the back. You can see it there. 
This is a little, this is difficult because it's been so long. I don't I don't remember what some of my expectations were on these. It's a great looking five O though. Five O off white pages. I mean, you could do a lot worse for five O. That's a great looking book. Love it. All right, I know the Marvel guys in the back of the room are going, "Where's the Marvel, bro? It's coming. It's coming." But before it gets here, Detective Comics two thirty six. It's not on here, but. This is the first appearance of the Bat Tank, actually. Not a book you see every day. Uh, these older tech books, just on, I think, more scarcity, even if they're minor keys, can run you a little bit. This was a really nice presenting raw copy. I don't know what I thought it was going to be, so let's see. Ooh, 3-5. Okay. It's about the nicest looking 3.5 I have ever seen. Sure. Uh, got a little stain on the back. Definitely some wear up the spine, but if that's a 3.5, I'll take it all day long. That's fine with me. It's a great looking 3.5. Wow. There are moments where I think I'm all right at this grading thing, and then I get a CGC shipment back of really old books, and I'm like, man, this is hard. Uh, oh, okay. Batman 258, first appearance, or first mention of uh, Arkham Hospital or Ar Arkham Asylum. Uh, Danny O'Neill story again. So, this is from 1974. Batman 258, let's see. All right. I know. I will totally take that in 9 Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, anything 90 plus in old school Batman, all day. That's and I like the cover too. Uh, got the baby blue. You got Batman and Robin, the coin. I don't know. It's got different panels. It's a different look, but I like that. This is a thicker book too. I don't know if you can tell by the side. Uh, it's almost like an annual. Definitely a thicker book, but that's awesome. Man, this is gonna be tremendous. For the bat collection uh let's see all right submariner number one this is a book i picked up it's probably been a couple years uh just sent it in a lot of stuff swirling around submariner not gonna get into all that there's plenty of other videos but uh yeah so this is uh submariner number one uh let's see Ooh, okay Six five creamed off white pages, uh, John Bushima and Sol Brodsky cover. Roy Thomas story. It's a sharp looking cover. Six five. I, w I wonder what these are up to now. This is a book I haven't really looked at in quite a while, so I'll be curious to see how that is. Uh, we might be headed into the Marvel section of this. Let's see. Ooh, okay. This is Fear 24. Uh, so this is the first time, I believe this is the first time that Morbius and Blade meet. Blade is an awesome character. He's coming to the MCU. This was a book I prioritized. I basically went out and bought the highest graded raw I could find. So let's see how we did. Ooh, okay. Eight, five white pages. I like it. It's a sharp cover too. Real sharp cover. They have it as Fear 24 and not Adventure into Fear. I haven't bought enough of these to know if that's accurate or not. Seems fine. Uh, Gil Kane and John Romita cover. Steve Gerber story. Sharp looking book. Uh, if the first appearance of Blade has gotten, gotten to be a bit too much, uh, it might be a nice second option. It's a great looking cover and he's on it. So... <laughs> All right, that's funny. So, uh, World's Finest 173. Remember that Two-Face book I was telling you about? So it's issue 173. Batman dresses as Two-Face in story. This predates 234. But again, it's Batman dressed as Two-Face. It's not Two-Face. That's an important distinction. So let's see how we did. Oh, yes. 9-0, white pages. I will take it. Yeah, love a 9-0 plus Batman key. 
Absolutely. Cool cover. Yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. So, uh, Jim Shooter story and uh, Kurt Swan and George Klein cover and art. That's dope. Love it when a plan comes together. I sent that in intentionally. I knew I knew I was gonna get that. Obviously. All right. Uh, Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane, number seventy, the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman. Pretty great cover. Lois is here too. Uh, Superman has been turned into a cat. You know, your standard comic fare. Let's see how we did. Ooh, seven five. Cream to off white pages. That is definitely an upgrade for me. Uh, I have a 5.5 five or 5.0, five, oh, I believe, in the PC, so that's awesome. Cheers to that. Yeah, that's fantastic. Here's the back cover. <sighs> Amazing book. Amazing book. How do you not love the old DC keys? How do you just not... Oh, Okay. For, for y'all, this may not be the biggest book, but for me, this is probably one of the biggest books in here. Uh, this is a Mr. Miracle number one. I bought this from a store that will not be named. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, they said it was a 90 plus for sure. Uh, I paid a 90 plus price at the time, which was about a year ago. So we're going to see how we did. Uh... I'm probably going to be a little disappointed if this isn't an 8.5 plus, so we'll see. It's going to be close, in my opinion. All right. Oh, it is a 9.4! Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, that's the pull of the night. That is definitely the pull of the night for me. 9.4? Oh, yeah. Jack Kirby story, uh, cover and art, first appearance of Mr. Miracle and Oberon, classic. Kirby cover, in my opinion, one of the one of the great ones. Uh, phenomenal. Wow. Yeah. I I needed this in 90 plus. <sighs> great book. That that is the pull of the night for me, I think. Uh, wow. <laughs> so, alright. Shout out to you, A1 Comics. I bought this from you raw. You were right. You said it was a 9-4, and it was. I'll give you your love. I'll give you the respect. Shout out. Cheers to the head grader, to Wes, Lanvin, all you guys over there. You guys treat me well. Uh, oh, okay. This is Fantastic Four, Annual 6, Birth of Franklin Richards, First Appearance of Annihilus. There are several copies of this in this submission. This was a book I prioritized. Shout out to you, Very Gary. Uh, he put me onto this book, and I went, sure, why not? It does have a great cover. He's not wrong. Uh, and it is another Jack Kirby, Jack Kirby, excuse me, and Joe Sinnott cover and art. Stanley Story. Let's see how we did. All right. Yeah. 5-5. Five, five. White pages. Yeah. Very respectable for this book. Uh, I sent in a bunch of these, so I I'm expecting a range, but that's, yeah, 5-5 five, five white pages. It's a book that's been consistently on the rise. Tons of speculation around it. Nothing confirmed. Uh, to be honest, sometimes I buy a couple books just so I don't get left out. Uh, yeah, here's another one. Let's see how we did. Oh, another one. 5-5 five, five, off-white to white pages. Another solid mid-grade. Yeah. That's... That's great. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have at least one more. We may have a couple more. This one's fun. Yup. Uh, number three. Here it is. <laughs> Another 5-5. Five, five. Off white to white pages. Apparently, I am king of the mid grade. That's funny. Uh, I wonder if there's a fourth one. Is the back. I mean... <laughs> oh, wow. They're all mid-grade. That's funny. Uh... Alright, FF Annual 6. Again, time number four. Can we beat the 5-0 to 5-5 range? 
Yes, we can! 6-5, off-white to white pages. Oh, and this one has the, uh, in the corner. You never, you never can tell. You never can tell. These mid-grades, they're tricky. You gotta watch them. All right. Well, 6-5, 5 5 5, five, five. And five five. Lot of quality. Gary, what's up? I'm gonna vary over it, very Gary. I dedicate this portion of the video to you. Ooh, okay. A uh, little serious now. X Men 14, first appearance of the Sentinels. I don't know what this is. So um, it has like a like a star and there was uh, some, uh, uh, some ink. It says eight, two, three here. Uh, six, five. All right. That's really good. I feel like for old X-Men, that seems really good. I need to look that up. I feel like that's really, really good. And a little surprising to be honest there's a there's like a chip out of the corner do you see it but yeah so little grease pen uh gary got most of it off but it's still visible and there's a star there i i believe i've heard the star means that this was from a military base at some point i could be wrong on that if you know in the comments feel free to to chime in i'm, I'm all about that participation but six five off white pages again jack kirby cover and layout stanley story i just this, this to me is one of the best X-Men covers. Uh, I just, I think it's phenomenal. And, you know, no surprise, it's a Kirby cover, but just, I think it's an amazing cover. All right. Ooh, okay. Green Lantern 73. This is a Star Sapphire cover. Uh, Green Lantern has a lot of these really awesome pink covers, and of all the pink covers, this is my favorite. It's a Gil Kane cover. Uh, I think I, tr again, I just tried to buy the highest raw grade I could find. I just really like this cover. So let's see. Ooh, okay. 8 -oh. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I'm thrilled with that. It's like just a great cover. Not a book I see a lot of unboxings on, to be honest. In fact, I don't know if I've ever seen this book unboxed, but... I just think it's an amazing Green Lantern cover. Just phenomenal. So, no! You're supposed to be dead! Yeah. All right. We're still going. We're still going. Gosh, it's like Christmas in whatever month this gets released. Oh, no! This is my first time. Uh, so this is restored. Lit till embarrassing. Uh, restoration includes front cover re-glossed. So, shout out to Gary over at Impressive. He messaged me about this book. I actually remember this. He messaged me and said, Aaron, something about this cover is weird. I don't know what it is. Um... You know, he went back and forth trying to clean it. He did a bunch of different things. And he's like, I don't know. It seems off to me. I'm a little concerned about it. And I told him to send it anyways. So let's see how we did. Okay. It's a 6.5. Uh, slight B1. Off-white pages. Interesting. The purple kind of looks nice because it's a purple cover. Uh, this is probably going to end up being PC for a while. Just because it's restored. Uh, it's the first appearance of Krona, uh, Golden Age Green Lantern crossover, Gil Kane and Murphy Anderson cover, John Broom story, great looking cover, uh, my first purple label, oh wow, that's funny. Restoration includes front cover re-glossed, huh. I don't think that can be undone. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. I'll talk to some people in the community. Still, still great. Cool book. Uh, yeah. Green Lantern 40. That is my first time. You saw it here first. First purple label. Oh, okay. Uh, Detective Comics 405. First appearance of the League of Assassins. 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's see. 7 0. Okay. All right. Yeah. Another book that, um, 405 and 411, tough to get in higher grade. Really tough to get in higher grade. So, uh, 7 0, white pages. It's got some issues on the back cover for sure. There's some, like, some mild staining and. Really great looking cover. Again, Neil Adams cover, Danny O'Neill and Frank Robbins stories. You know, you got Gil Kane involved too. Great book though. Really great. Uh, that is high grade. I have two left. Let's see. Oh, yes. Green Lantern 16. Uh, the origin and first appearance of Silver Age, Star Sapphire, Admin Store Backup Story. Uh, this is a book I bought off Instagram. So I got this for a phenomenal price, actually. Like, really good. Uh, all right. Yeah. 3 0. Off white pages. So if you can see all the way down the side, there's like this tanning. There probably used to be some tape there. It's over here. But. It presents amazing, it, you know, issues like that don't really bother me, especially on these older books. If they're not affecting sort of the middle of the book, I don't, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, if anything, I think it gives it some character. So yeah, phenomenal cover. One of my favorites. Uh, wow. Yep. This is PC for sure. Adding it to the Green Lantern collection. Ah, what a run. What a run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Classic. If you're new to the channel, uh, this is this book is kind of my jam. It really is. This is... When I told you the cream of the crop was going to be in this unboxing, I really meant it. And here we go. Detective Comics 359, the first appearance of Calendar Man. Some people laughed, but uh, because of Suicide Squad, this book saw some serious gains. Um, kind of a tougher book to find because it is old, old silver. It's basically almost golden age. It's from 1958. It's cream to off-white pages, 3.5, but uh, yeah, this is PC. I have a few of these. It's, it's kind of a book for me, but um, <laughs> if you're familiar to the channel, you definitely know that. If you're new to the channel, I get I gets down with Calendar Man. So uh, that, that's awesome. I believe that is everything. Uh, wow. This was a tremendous unboxing. The highs, the lows, the purple labels. I mean, we had everything. X-Men, Tech, Batman, Green Lantern. If you wanted it, it was here. And if you didn't want these, then what are you thinking? Just kidding. Uh, this has been great. Thank you guys so much for coming by. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Uh, I release content every week. Uh, I'm always talking about different stuff in the comic book community. So, hope you guys had a great time, and I'll catch up with you later. See ya.